name is David Boomering. I play lock from South Africa, born in Port Elizabeth. Happy to be here. Christa, welcome to Llanelli and to West Wales. Um, first time here, you mentioned you've visited London on previous occasions. How are you finding Wales so far? Um, yeah, it's, it's quite different to, to home, obviously. It's been quite warm back in South Africa at the moment, so the cold is a bit different, but I'll, I think I'll judge quickly. Um, also come from a bit of a smaller town, so Llanelli is quite nice so far. Um, haven't had enough time to sort of go around and see things, but went into town to Nando's last night and uh, settling in nicely. Um, and you've, to be fair, you've only been here sort of a, a day and a half and you've already sort of got involved in training yesterday and today. Um, uh, what are you sort of hoping in the, in the short term now that you have arrived? Um, yeah, obviously um, for me, you know, the, the goal was to come in and, and start playing, so um, if there's opportunity, I'd love to obviously get, get straight into it. Um, I don't really want to hang around, so the sooner the better. Uh, which leads us in nicely to a question from uh, Scarlet Rugby Blog. Can you describe your playing style? Um, yeah, it's a bit different in South Africa. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a line-out specialist, um, so more five lock in South African terms. So just lead line-outs and then like to have ball in hand and try and work as hard as I can. And a couple of similar questions, um, Adwell Jones, Helen Louise and Mark Milsom. What were the factors or what influenced you to join the Scarlets? Yeah, I was looking for a bit of a, uh, bit of a change. Um, there's a bit of a, a crisis at home, the Southern Kings, so, so the timing was right when this opportunity came up. Um, and yeah, I've, obviously I've spoken to George Hall and he, he really suggested coming over. It's a great place to play and the fans are lovely. So. Happy to be here. And you've um, participated to some degree in two training sessions now since you've been. Um, how have those been and anything different to what you're sort of used to back home? Um, yeah, it's a bit shorter than we were trained at home, so I uh, enjoyed that so far. Um, I think rugby generally is, is quite standardised at the moment. So, um, yeah, obviously looking forward to having the full squad back and, and getting into it. Okay, and we have a question from Andrew Ford. Who's the most difficult player you've played against and with? Um, against probably Kieran Reid. Just like the way he plays, it's respect him a lot, and um, I think he's a really great player. And probably with uh, Cornell de Prier from Edinburgh, he's um, also quite a grinder. Like, hard works hard and good with ball in hand. And from Not Jake Ball on. Twitter, um, are you planning to grow a full beard? It's mandatory if you want to be in the second row with my famous beard. <laughs> I can definitely look into it. Um, it's probably going to keep me a bit warmer, so I'll probably start growing up. Great for us that you've managed to um, to come in sort of early midway through the season as we we sort of head into top four playoff um, battles. But you've signed a longer term contract. We should see you here until twenty nineteen. Okay. Um, what do you, what are your sort of aspirations on a longer term basis? Um, yeah, obviously to try and play as much as possible from the get go now, and it's as far as I understand, it's, it's quite a young squad, so we, we're obviously starting to grow together. Um, we can obviously build on something. The, the club obviously has aspirations to be um, title contenders, and that's that's obviously where we want to go. And on a personal basis, obviously play the best rugby for the, that can benefit the team, and then. Hopefully, you know, put myself into contention. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Hope Thank you have you. A, a good weekend. Maybe do a little bit of exploring. Okay. Um, and we'll speak Thank soon. Thank you. Thanks.